Welcome back. Um, okay, we're sort of having the final wrap up now on this project. So your gallery SWF file should be in your flash site WW file. And now everything should work. Contact us. All these pictures come up. About us page again. Okay, so now we need to just um, put this into an HTML page. Now, um, Flash also exports when you publish this a um, bit of script that um, does a few things that it will do automatically. So from Flash to export we go to File and then you go to Publish Settings. Um, this is just to change a couple of the defaults that are in here. It automatically names the HTML the name of the file, so in this case Gallery HTML. So you can rename that to what you like. So we'll call it index because that's normally the root folder. Sometimes it's called default, but it's generally indexed by HTML. Gallery SWF, that's fine. There's no GIFs or PNGs or any of this stuff being uh, exported out. But good to note if you uncheck these and checked um, uh, Windows Projector XE file, it would produce it as a Gallery XE file that could be used for things like PowerPoint presentations or you could export it as a QuickTime. Uh, it, in this case it wouldn't work because we've got a movie within the movie. Um, right, we flash pan 9, this is the version, load order, bottom up, top down, it's up to you. Uh, Action script 2 we're using for this particular project. The JPEG quality will increase or decrease the JPEGs and leave that on, on default. In fact leave all of this on default. Template, flash only, match, ah this is quite interesting, in the HTML dimensions. This will match the movie or you can do it a percent or pixels. Play around with these. Windows mode, you can do it as transparent if you want the um, it to be a transparent background if you've got transparencies in here anywhere. Um, HTML default, I'm going to, um, I'll leave it default. Scale, we'll just put no scale. Play around with these. Flash alignment, center and center, so it will appear center and center. Um, that's okay. So now I'm just going to hit the publish setting and now it will publish it out with the actual thing. It's not in here, not in the flash because it's exported out where the root folder is or where the um, design file is, gallery flower. So you'll notice now it's produced the galley SWF file and the index and the AC runtime JS script. So what I need to do is just grab these and drag them into here to overwrite what's already in there. And now, click this, and it'll open up Internet Explorer. I'll just close this down a bit, you should see it. And there it is, it's all ready to go. Although it's clipped a bit for some bizarre reason. Probably my window is not the right size. Might have to increase my area. So I go into size, height, let's make that 650. Okay, these are little teething problems. And I'll go ahead and I'll publish again. Of course, you'll have to drag it into the file, it's back in here. We'll just test it in here first before I drag it into the WW file. Okay, that's better. There we go. So there we go, we've got that, we've got the gallery, these all flick over, contact us there, all works great. So finally, grab the files that are working and overwrite what's in this folder, yes to all. And this file's in here now, we can get rid of that one. Actually I'll get rid of this one and just rename it. index. I've done that because the size might go back to 600 instead of 650. So that's it. So you would upload these to your um, server um, using an FTP client, something like QFTP. Um, if you've got web space or free web space, they'll give you the settings for uploading these files and then upload them and you've got yourself um, a simple gallery. And as I said before, I haven't used much um, ActionScript 
but only the stuff that's uh, defaulted with Flash. So it should be this lesson and course is quite easy for anybody to pick up. Um, we've covered up. We've covered lots of things in here: movies within movies, mouse overs, um, creating your own logos. So in the next course, we're going to take this a stage further and really up it and build on what we've learnt um, in this project. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've enjoyed making it for you and uh, I'll see you in the next project. Well actually I'm going to do a few short um, YouTube videos just on more basic things that we'll be using in the next project. It gives me a chance to go into detail about them. Okay I'll see you in the next lesson.